ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸುರೇಶ್ ಮೂನಾ ವೆಲ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಮೀ ಆನ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಎ ಫ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಯೆಸ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಆನ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ನಾವು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಆನ್ ಎ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಬಟ್ ವೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಗಣೇಶ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫರ್ ಮೈ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ ಮೈ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಹರ್ಡಲ್ ರಿಮೂವರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಗಣೇಶ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಶೋ ಯು ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೀರಿಯಸ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಶೋ ಯು ಸಮ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಮೈಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಗಣೇಶ ಲುಕ್ ಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ನೌ ವೆಲ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲಿ ರಿನೋನ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಬಿ ಕೆ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಬರ್ಮಾ ವೆಲ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಮೆನಿ ಅ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮೋತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಲುಕ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮನ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಬರ್ಮಾ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು and create a nice piece of artwork and lo it's here look at the artwork how micro details are very neatly and very diligently explicitly shown here look at the person who was wearing the attire of that time and look at the color combination and look at the structure which is there bare rock uh, surrounded by many trees well friend this is what i wanted to share with you thanks to mr bk srinivas verma who has done this work on my request exclusively this work is done for me i am again thanking mr bk srinivas verma well friends now i am going to the detail of the further stories of bengaluru before that i'll offer my respect to lord ganesha who is the removal of all hurdles then i'll meet you please stay with me many of my fans many of my followers many of my friends and relatives were urging me to take to youtube channel and i felt there is a need for that you know why because i wanted to share my three decades of experience of studying bengaluru history well of course i have done about 120 episodes to a tv channel a few years back and uh, i have done powerpoint presentation to schools colleges and universities i have written volumes and volumes to various newspapers both in english and also in regional language that is canada but in spite of all these things when i was urged by my friends to take to youtube i felt there is a greater meaning in that you know why because i can share my experience i can share my feelings and also i can dig the hidden treasures of bengaluru stories and i can give it to a very very wide range of viewers across the globe well friends bengaluru is a gold mine more you dig more and more precious metal you will be getting bengaluru is like a box wherein a magician puts a handkerchief and says abra kadabra and afterwards he goes on pulling the handkerchiefs of various sizes and colors how oh, like that if i open the history of bengaluru and take out the tales one after the other you'll be mesmerized you'll be scintillated you'll be sensitized and you'll be amazed to listen to these stories and of course friends these stories will cater to the needs of all age groups well friends i use the word abracadabra abracadabra in hebrew mythology means the act of speech will magically turns into reality this is true with bengaluru stories also as i go on telling the stories you will get into the realities of the history of bangalore 
as you go on deeper and deeper into the various fathoms of the Bangalore history, you will be realizing many, many untold stories of Bengaluru. This is what I wanted to share with your friends. But one thing, my friends, my tales of Bengaluru are not based on any hypothesis, but they are backed by evidences, they are backed by visuals that you cannot find anywhere else perhaps. And my stories will be told in a very lucid, simple narration and backed by inscriptional evidences. Sometimes I may even interview some people, but they are all backed by evidences. So obviously, it will be interesting to all the age group of viewers. Nanu Bangalore Nivasi, Appata Kannadiga. Friends, I am a Kannadiga and I am a true and true Bangalorean. But I want to reach these tales of Bengaluru for the global viewers. Because Bengaluru is not just an IT industry city, nor a Silicon Valley. Because Bengaluru has got a large amount of tales untold. There are fathoms and fathoms of stories that are not explored. So my intention, my mission is to take these stories to a wider range of audience so that they will come to know Bangalore is not just a metropolitan city, but it is a city with rich culture, rich heritage and rich history. That's why the tagline of our channel is Bengaluru Stories. Bengaluru, the very name represents the local flavor, the local vigor and the local color of the ancient city and stories, of course, my narration. Friends, we'll move forward, take our city's history to the global level and make the people realize how important a city our Bengaluru is. When I started the study of Bengaluru history about 30 years back, I had a dream that more and more of youngsters should come forward to talk and write about the city's past. But now I'm happy that some youngsters and some enthusiasts have come forward and talking about the history and making videos and sharing their views to a large number of viewers on the city's past. But still, I'm not satisfied. I have a bigger dream that in all the roads of Bengaluru, there should be a Suresh Mona talking very, very proudly about the micro-level history of those roads. I am sure, I am confident that my dream will come to a reality soon. Dhaniyavadagulu. Namaste friends.